Welcome Money Finders, enriching the lives of people we touch. 11 Secrets to Running a Highly Profitable Cleaning Business Everybody wants to own a profitable business and one of the healthier industries to join in on is the cleaning industry. However, although everyone wants to have a profitable business, not everyone is willing to do, nor do they know where to start. If you want to run a highly profitable cleaning business, then there are several factors that you should take into consideration first. Here are 10 secrets to running a successful cleaning business. Money finders, the more subscribers we get again, the better and more content you can continue making. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Number 10. Find a niche. Although having a general cleaning service can get you to a broader range of target customers, it can be harmful to stretch yourself thin. Plus, it will be harder to establish yourself as an authority in the field when you don't have specific specializations. This is the reason why you need to find yourself a niche that you prefer working on. This way, people who need that specific niche will come straight to you because they know that this is your expertise. Plus, it's much easier to manage business this way and enables you to master a niche much better. Number nine, have a business plan and stay focused. It takes a lot of work to run a house cleaning business and it feels overwhelming at times. When an entrepreneur feels overwhelmed, it is easy to lose focus. To avoid losing focus while running your business, create an unachievable, balanced and goal-oriented business plan and work hard to stay focused on those goals. Part of your business plan should include your marketing strategy. Active prospecting and networking should be a large part of your marketing strategy but passive marketing tactics are important as well. When you consistently develop content on your website, it can eventually turn into a steady flow of targeted traffic and leads coming from your website. Choosing the right daily habits that align with your business plan and marketing can help you build a successful cleaning business. Number eight, accept that some clients will not be around forever. You should never let a client go for no good reason. But good business involves knowing when to cut ties. Not every client will be good for your cleaning company. Sometimes, even professionals simply do not mesh. Imagine that you have a lifelong client that hires your cleaning service every week like clockwork. But the cleaning your employees have to make is too much. It takes them all day and they have to use way too many cleaning products to finish the job. You probably end up spending more than what the client is paying you. That's not good business. Alternatively, some clients may not work for you as your business expands. Whatever the reason, never be afraid to let a client go if the time is right. Number seven, clean it like it's your own. Regardless of what you're cleaning and whether you're doing traditional house cleaning, janitorial work, or providing a specialty cleaning service, clean like you're cleaning your own home or office. Number six, take care of your employees. Another big no-no for cleaning business and any other business is the poor treatment of their employees. Employees are the ones who deal with customers most often and thus if they receive any maltreatment then it doesn't bode well for your business. Besides, if you take care of your employees, you have more to gain than lose compared to when you treat them bad. Not only will work quality improve but they will also be more loyal to their jobs so there will be a lower turnover rate. Remember to take care of your employees and treat your employees like the professionals they are. Number five, be an innovator, not a follower. What is one thing nearly every successful and memorable business has in common? The most profitable and beloved businesses out there have innovative owners. These people have incredible vision and want to break the mold. Memorable businesses have owners who think outside of the box and try to find new and interesting products or services for their customers. You may not think there is much you can do as a cleaning business owner in the way of innovation, but there is. Think about what your customers really want. Do they want to hire a business that focuses more on cleaning for health than cleaning for appearance? Do they want a job done well, but a job done fast? Find out exactly what your customers want. Then brainstorm ways to incorporate innovative improvements into your business. Add these ideas into your messaging and marketing to highlight how to serve your customers better and different than the competition. Number four, develop systems. 
Systems provide a structure that allows you to work consistently and efficiently and also let you create a company that will continue to run whether you're there or not. Create systems for every function, cleaning, laundry, supervision, reporting, customer service, accounting, and management. Number three, higher character, train skills. Just because someone has the necessary skills or credentials to do a job doesn't mean they're going to be a top-notch employee. Peter Schatz, the president and CEO of Porsche during the 1980s, probably said it best. Higher character, train skill. Cleaning business owners are always on the lookout for great cleaning technicians. The character or attitude of those you hire will help you achieve success. Just as you need to stay positive for the benefit of staff and customers, it is important to have employees who have similar attitudes. An employee with a bad attitude can turn customers off and cause drama with other employees. Your employees and staff are the first impressions most people have of your company. On top of that, these are the people your customers Customers are letting into their homes. A lot of trust goes into that process, and if you violate that trust by hiring poor employees, it can reflect badly on your company. Number two, choose a business name and logo. The name of your business and its corresponding logo requires time and consideration. The goal is for your cleaning company to be around for years to come, so the name and logo should be something you genuinely like. Choose a business name that reflects your name, values, or allow your creative side to play. If you are all about the environment, then maybe something like green cleaning will get the message across. Hire a graphic designer to create the company logo so it looks professional and reflect the company name you choose. Number one, tap all your resources. Although it can be impressive that you can manage everything that involves your cleaning business, it means that you're compromising on other aspects. One of the most significant compromises that are, aren't good for the long run is compromising on your time and effort. Never be afraid to outsource any tasks that don't have any direct correlation to the service that you provide. Aside from that, make use of the connections that you have, even if it's for small tips and tricks or any recent news in the industry. Bonus tip, prioritize word of mouth advertising. At the end of the day, what customers tell others about your business is one of the most fundamental ad tools you have. You need to prioritize your client relationships from the get-go. This is about more than merely keeping customers happy. You need to ensure your client feels they received professional and personalized treatment. Client feedback is of vital importance to cleaning companies. If your services are not up to par with what the clients need or request, they will hire another cleaning company. Don't let that happen. Be attentive to their legitimate needs and requests. Suggest proactive ways that they can make your work go further or more efficiently prepare for your services. Open communication is the best way to build relationships with clients that last for years. These clients are far more likely to recommend you than someone who merely saw your advertisement. Best of all, they will be enthusiastic advocates for your work. An easy way to use clients' reviews as a very powerful marketing tool is by signing for review sites like Yelp. There, your customers will be able to rate you, and these ratings will help convince others you are the best person for the job. With these 10 secrets compiled above, you are sure to win and make a name for yourself in the cleaning industry, as long as you match the greatness of your business techniques with the excellence of your service. Then you have nothing to worry about. Money finders, we hope you have enjoyed this video. Keep the discussion going in the comment section. Find us on all social media platforms. Like and subscribe to support our channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.